Okay, so we're looking at the second part of this short topic and now we're now looking at higher purchase. And you might want to copy this down as we go along. Okay, so a higher purchase is a payment arrangement when you don't have enough money to buy something directly. So if you've got money, you can pay for it. But if you don't have enough money, you can still get it uh, and take it out of the shop, but you're going to pay extra for it. Okay, so ooh, jumped up too quickly. Okay, so normally what happens is you pay a deposit. Okay, so you pay some money up front, and this could be expressed in dollars or as a percentage. Okay, so it just depends on how it's expressed. So you then make regular payments over a period of time to pay it off, to pay it off. Okay, um, so what happens is the deposit, okay, so what you pay, the deposit is what you pay, and then you have these payments that you pay, and together, that's going to add up to more than the original, okay? It's, it has to add up to more because you're getting the thing uh, without paying for it up front, and you're paying it off over time, so you have to pay more. And this extra amount that you pay is the interest, okay? So you're paying interest to the supplier, and the interest could be expressed as dollars or more likely as a percentage per annum. So it just depends on how the question is asked. So copy that down when you're ready to come across. Okay, so we've got a couple of examples. Okay, so the first one, we've got a $2,000 sofa can be bought with a 10% 10 10 deposit. It could be money, but we're doing a percentage this one. And you make regular monthly payments over two years at $95 a month. Okay, so I've broken it up into questions, so I'm scaffolding it, what yet all the steps um, you have to do. Um, so just write that down, and I'm going to work this one with you. So when you're ready, uh, just copy the questions down, and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so what we've got is, we're going to have some answers. So the deposit is a percentage. Okay, so we've got 10% of the $2,000 so far. So your deposit is $200. So that's your deposit. Now, next part is your total repayments. So your total repayments, we've got $95 a month, and we have two years, so we've got 24 months. So I'm just getting my calculator out. And that equals $2,280. Okay, so that's how much you pay. So we've done that part. So part C, how much have you paid? How much extra have you paid? Well, the total payments... is $200 deposit plus 2280 so all up you've paid $2,480 so your extra that you've paid extra paid is $480 okay so how much extra have you paid you paid an extra $480 and this this last part that's the hard part what interest have you been charged as a percentage Okay, so the first parts are easy. Now, that $480 is over two years. So that means we've got $240 for one year. Okay, now the reason we have to do it for one year is because interest is quoted per annum. Okay, so this, is, this last part is the hard part. Okay, so the interest charge as a percentage is the $240, and we don't divide by the $2,000 because we've paid $200, and so you only owe $1,800, okay? So the interest is charged only on what you owe, so instead of dividing by 2000 we divide it by 1800 because you only owe $1,800, and that's a fraction, and a fraction to a percentage is times 100. So we just do 240 divided by 1800 times 100 and that is 13.3 percent per annum so that's what you've been charged each uh, year on the balance that you owe so eighteen hundred dollars the eighteen hundred dollars that you owe times 13 percent times two years gives you my 480 dollars back okay so that last part is the only hard part, part because you've got to remember that you don't get interest on the original, you get interest on what you owe, okay? You didn't owe $2,000, you only owed eighteen. So can you copy that down and when you're ready, come across to the next slide. 
Okay, so I've got another sofa question. <coughs> so a sofa costs $3,000 and can be purchased with a $100 deposit, not a percentage this time. And this time the balance you owe gets charged at 10%. So you know what the interest rate is, but you don't know what the payments are. Okay, so let's just go work this one. Copy the question out and when you're ready, come back. Okay, so it's not in steps, but the first thing is we work out the deposit, which is $100. And so the balance that you owe is that's a hundred dollars and it's a three thousand dollar thing so you owe twenty nine hundred dollars so the interest interest charge is the twenty nine hundred dollars times the interest which is ten over a hundred and how long are we doing it for we got monthly payments but we got two years so that's the important thing so we're timesing it by two so twenty nine hundred times 10% times 2. So your interest charge is $580. So the total that you owe is the $580 interest plus the balance that you owe. So $580 plus $2,900. So you owe $3,480. $80. So even though you've paid $100 and the, and the whole sofa was only worth $3,000, you still owe $3,480. So then the last part is the easy part. So the monthly payments equals how much you owe divided by how many months, which was 24. And so divided by 24 in the calculator. So it's $145 per month. And that will give you back your $3,480. So you've paid more money, obviously. You've paid, okay, so here you've got your $3,480 plus you've got your $100 deposit. So you've paid $3,580. So you've paid an extra $580, okay, which is the interest, okay? You get charged the interest, and that's how much extra you have to pay for the sofa which is fair and reasonable. Okay, copy that down when you're ready to come across. So I'll have a worksheet on Moodle and uh, a variety of questions. So just practice it. It's not too hard and it's a nice short topic. Okay, thanks. Bye.